A frantic morning full of weather-induced postponements, but we still have some great football tonight. Welcome to Fairway Fort Friday Night Hits. I'm Mark Whiteman. Thanks, as always, for joining us. 12 games canceled or postponed today due to concerns over wet field conditions. Many that will play Saturday or Monday. A full list on our website, WIFF4.com. But up in Roebuck, our game of the week was played, and oh, what a game it was between two upstate powers in Gaffney and Dorman. Julia Morris at Dorman for our game of the week. Dorman and Gaffney's rivalry series dates all the way back to 1964, and so many games in this rivalry series have been close over the years, including last year's matchup that Gaffney won by one point. This year, the Cavaliers trying to hand the Indians their first loss of the season. Dorman head coach Dave Gutshall said this week that the Cavaliers' run game has really improved over the last two weeks. It shows early. First drive of the game for Dorman, Demarius Foster taking it 41 yards to the house. Cavaliers up 7-0. Dorman's defense also making a big play just a few minutes later. Monty Weaver picks off Indians quarterback Grayson Loftus and runs it back for a pick six. Cavs extend their lead to 14. That also one of Weaver's two interceptions in the first quarter. But Gaffney's offense gets going in the second. Check out the explosive play. Loftus airing it out to Deshaun Corey for a big time touchdown. Indians pull within seven. They scored three touchdowns in the second quarter. It's a 21 to 21 game in the final seconds of the first half. Dorman's in the red zone and Will Black punches it in for his second touchdown of the first half. Cavaliers lead 28 to 21 at the break. Still a one touchdown game late in the fourth quarter. Dorman's up 35 28, but look at this special teams play. Landon Bullock blocks the punt and scores. High ball game. And with about six minutes to play, Gaffney running back Tyler Smith puts the Indians in front. Final seconds, Dorman has the chance to tie it and send it to overtime, but the Indians defense makes the stop. Another close game in the rivalry series ends with Gaffney on top. The Indians win it 42 to 35. Thought he made the catch. You know, I almost did. You know, it's great play. And, uh, you know, players, they have players. We have some players. And we made one more play is it. Dorman plays at Burns next Friday. Gaffney host Nation Ford. At Dorman High School, I'm Julia Morris, WYFF News 4 Sports. Julia, thank you. What a win for Gaffney as their unbeaten season continues. Last couple of years have yielded some tight games between T.L. Hanna and Malden. The Yellow Jackets edged the Mavericks 14-13 a year ago. In 2019, Malden booted Hanna from the playoffs with a three-point win. Mavs aiming to shake off last week's rivalry loss to Hillcrest. Hanna, the 5A state runner-up, yet to lose this year. First play of the game for T.L. Hanna. Cameron Johnson breaks a couple tackles. And he's in the clear 66-yard touchdown. And look at this, he's even going to keep his balance for style points on the back end. Jackets lead 7-0. Hand up two touchdowns, still in the first. Malden, Jaden Lucas, a front porch score for the Clemson commit. More from TLH, though, as they just kept on coming and coming in this game. Johnson coming across on a sweep, and he is headed right to the corner store. 21-6, Hannah at that point, and the Jackets sting Malden 43-22. They are 7 and oh, this season. Daniel, an offensive machine. The unbeaten Lions averaging 48 and a hook every Friday. Home against Pendleton tonight, leading 28 zip in the second. That's Carson Chastine blocking the punt. Short field for Trent Pierman. He gets Masoon Kelly out in space, and the Lions lead 35 to nothing after Mr. Kelly strolls on in. Bulldogs trying to get anything going, but Stanley Young has entered the chat. Picks off Cameron Jones two plays later. Jarius Cleveland in for the 12-yard touchdown, and the Lions beat back the Bulldogs 56 to nothing. From one state champ to another, Abbeville rolling into Liberty tonight, having won their first six by an average of 38. First play from scrimmage for the Panthers, Zay Rayford. Hello, 40 yards for the score, and Abbeville, they're just doing their thing in this one. Next possession is going to be Rayford. Hooking up with Antonio Harrison. And Antonio Harrison, we've called his name a lot this year. 25 yards on the out right there. He gets another red zone possession. And Rayford in the red zone. He gets the snap way up high. And he still goes in for the score. Panthers up two scores. That leads swelling. Second quarter, it's going to be Mr. Harrison again on the handoff. And he is gone. All Abbeville in this one. 48-0. The final over Liberty. I'll show you a few scores. Nation Ford beating Boiling Springs 56 to 27 and Woodruff over Union County on the road 63 to 49. Clinton 6 and 0 for the first time since 2007, making the hour drive due north to Broome. The Centurions have won 
four straight region games against the Red Devils. Kickoff pushed up an hour to 6.30 at Broom. Sun's out. We rolling down. First quarter, Red Devils up a touchdown. How about some more? DeCorey Gary, another Clinton score. And if you don't know, now you know this Red Devils team is legit. Jashan Copeland finds a crease, and he is cashing in with a 46-yard gallop to the Airbnb. Red Devils doing their thing. How about Clinton? Snaps a four-game slide against Broom. They are 7 nothing after the 47-14 win. Dooley Field, BHP at Greer, both squads 3-3, three and three, though all of the Bears' losses have come against teams that are still unbeaten. Defensive struggle through the first half here. BHP on the move. But to Corvius Jones picks off A.J. Pendleton, one of four first-half turnovers between the two teams. We are still locked at zeros in the second. Third and goal from the 11 for the Bears. Pendleton to Nevada Billups. Touchdown, BHP. But the Yellow Jackets rally with a strong goal line stand to end the half. And it is Greer topping BHP 24-14 to move to 4-3. Rivalry night of Landrum, Cardinals and Blacksburg have alternated wins and losses over the last six seasons. With Landrum the 2020 winner, Jesse Bauer reservations for six. It's a party, Cardinals strike first, but here comes Blacksburg. Dre Buxton, round the outside, free for the Wildcats, touchdown. Landrum lining up again, Blacksburg in there for the uh, touchdown. Landrum gonna line up down on the goal line and just bully balled in with Bowers on another short score right here, and it's all Landrum for their second straight win in the rivalry, 37-7. to Hey, we were taking a quick time out, but we've got games ahead, including Chesney's trip to see the 5-1 St. Joe's Catholic Knights to get you hyped up for that. It's Mike up with St. Joe's first-year head coach, Chris Goodman. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's go. Stay on it, Chris. Stay on it, babe. Go ahead. Go for it. Go for it. Four quarters, babe. Four quarters. Let's do it. Make sure we're getting the balls dry then. Where's our Where's our ball boy? What's up, little ones? What's up, little ones? They didn't touch 11. Didn't touch him. You should all be there. Do you have endurance? Let's go. Hey, get a break. You're in it together. Get a break. 